Disney chair so today I wanted to show you how I get these soft waves curls on short hair so as you can see my hair is quite short it's like a growing out inverted bob a line bob you if you've been with me for a while you know that I had very short uh, angled bob this is sort of a much longer version of it um, so you would think that with short hair like this you can't really curl it but you can especially when you have one of those and this is the irresistible me 18 one complete curler i love this thing so i don't curl my hair very often but i think because i've never had a success with curling wand i used to get um i have a still curling wand you know with a clamp the old fashion one and um, and they seem to really make my hair look dry and crispy and not very nice so I was very skeptical with this but I thought it was such a great idea because it comes in this box you get eight wands so you wouldn't have to buy eight separate ones you get one of these and depends what effect you want you can change all the ones but it is a very clever um, tool it comes with a, a us plug but i just because i am in uk i just went to electrical shop and asked for um tourist to UK plug. So I got this, no problem. It is very intelligent because you don't need to worry about different voltage. Of course, in US you have different voltage than we have here in UK. This automatically adjusts the voltage so there is no um, any, you know, switches to, to change the voltage. It does it all by itself. It has digital display, the temperature. I'll just show you in a minute how it works. Um, so it comes in this lovely pouch, it's like a roll, almost like a brush roll and you have your different ones in here. It also comes with a glove and this lovely stand which I love, you know, I don't want any of the big mats or anything. This is non-slippery, quite heavy so you can just rest your wand on that. So what you can do, the Sapphire 18 one. It has here lock and unlock so what I use today I've used two barrels this is um, the, the thickest one and this one is one down so I use the smaller one um, on my lower layers underneath because my hair is much shorter so you wouldn't even go around that one and then as I went up on my top layer I use the bigger one for softer waves waves because you know the smaller the barrel the tighter the curl and obviously with short hair I didn't want to look like um, just a huge curly broccoli <laughs> so yeah so I use that one so how you do it you have this which is movable to the unlock position then you can line up you just push the wand in and lock it if you can't lock it I sometimes think oh I can't lock it I take the wand out and I turn it other way around and you turn it to lock so that way your wand won't fall out then you plug it in let me plug it in okay when you plug it in this digital display will be flashing off you have to press here, which is an on button, but not just press it and let go. Hold it for a sec. You see, it will show the temperature that is heating up. Heats up so, so quickly and you can go with temperature up or down here. Heats up really quickly and it's ready to go. So I think this is amazing. Um, amazing tool you can take it away with you obviously you don't have to take all the ones you could just take the ones that you want to have with you i will have the link and code to it down below um please let me know if you've got one of those if you've bought one of those how you got on with it i will probably do another tutorial with my extensions irresistible me hair extensions and the one because it is so much easier to curl long hair so if you want to see how i achieve this look keep on watching 
so this is how my hair looks i've just washed it and just dried it roughly i didn't style it um, or anything just dried it with a medium heat now i need to prep my hair and to put something in it to protect it from heat and make it shiny because as you can see my hair especially the ends is like straw so i thought i could use maybe a bit of that matrix um exquisite oil matrix biolage so i'm going to take some in my hand and just go through my hair mostly through the ends because that's my biggest problem area this bit here is so so damaged might put a bit more there actually so hopefully my hair will look shiny with that and it won't fry <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to section my hair. Um, I'll probably do three sections. Although the more layers you have, you probably need more sections. Yeah, I probably need four. And I also just washed my hair. I didn't blow dry it or straighten it. I think. A lot of people do that, they straighten their hair first and I think that defeats the objects because then you're going to curl it so you apply heat twice and also if you've straightened your hair surely it will be more difficult to keep the curl. And as you can see at the back where my hair is the healthiest, I have a natural, not curl but like wave in my hair so that should help. Okay, you've got this gorgeous glove, but I will start off with the glove, but I probably will take it off because I don't like the feel of it. I mean, if you're doing it for the first time, use it because you can burn yourself so easily. Okay, so I'm going to brush through and I'm just going to pick up sections about that big. Put the wand upside down and if you want to care away from the face you go that way see the hair is so short here and I'm only doing um, waves I don't want real big curls you can alternate so you can do one curl away from your face and one towards your face you see for the shorter hair i definitely need the glove because it is very difficult for me to not touch the wand and also it is very difficult to see what you're doing i probably could have done with another section but never mind let's do this one towards the face I might have to go like this because, and I won't see what I'm doing but don't worry especially with this look you want just soft waves so they don't have to be like um, brilliant curls now I always find a challenge this side don't burn your ear either I might do them all away from my face because it's easier to hold it that way and at the back I really don't care that much as long as I get some sort of bend in my hair I'm happy I can even just go like under just to get a slight bend so I'm basically just grabbing my hair and go under almost like with a curling tongue or well, it is curling tongue but you know what I mean 
Okay, I think that's okay. I'm gonna let the second section down, which is a bit longer. So for this section, I am still using the smaller wand. I think on the top, I will use the biggest one. And I'm giving up on the glove. I just get such a better feel for it when but you have to be very, very, very careful. You can leave the ends. The ends don't have to be curled. I quite actually like the ends to be a bit straight. from the front so we do this one away from the face and then this one towards the face And away from the face. Okay, now I'm going to let this bit go. And I might have to just take a tiny section because, like I said, because of so many layers, it might be a bit difficult so the more layers you have obviously the more sections you will need to do <clears throat> okay let's carry on still with the smaller barrel here it's important that you hold it that way down to burn yourself. now my last section and for this one I think I am going to go with the bigger wand because I don't want the cows to be too tight on top <clears throat> so I'm going to turn it off um, let it cool down and swap the wand for that big one okay let's do the final layer so here at the top I push this one forward with these ones you really don't want to curl that way but curl it back so sort of like this so you get a lift up here okay now I'm going to do it with with this section as well this one and 
one back here. Okay, now let's do the sides. I'm going to do, do this one away from the face. This one towards the face. away from the face and I'm go going to go a bit lower I don't want too much curl near my near my root and then the fringe or whatever it is called I just want to slide bend in it Take it a bit back and away from your face. And then you can go over some that you think, oh, maybe I want a bit more curl here and there. And that's what you are left with. But now I am going to let it properly cool down and I will sort of style it okay so this is done I'm quite happy with it what I'm going to do I'm just going to rough it up with my fingers first I don't want to just to get to break up the curls a bit Um, I will now back on a bit the top section because you know me, I like this bit to be quite high up. I don't like to have a very flat head. Just very gently. What you can do as well is grab the ends of the curls and sort of push it back for more volume like this very very gently you see that gives you so much more volume then I'm not that happy with this side but like I said I am quite new to this curly hair business yes I did have a perm in the 80s like we all did <laughs> but that was totally different story Okay, I think I quite like it like this. I'm going to take a hairspray. This is uh, Schwarzkopf got to be too sexy, big volume hair. It's okay. It's, 
I'm just going to lift my hair and spray it sort of under. Ooh, misses. This is some sexy hair. <laughs> I quite like it. And what I love about it, my hair, you've seen how um, fluffy and straw-like my hair was. But with this wand, my hair is soft as anything. I think putting a bit of oil, some sort of oil in your hair helps. And my hair actually looks quite shiny. So yes, I'm very happy with this look. I hope you liked it. If you've got quite short hair, don't think you can't wear it curly, because you can. And the good thing is you can play so much with it till you're happy. So that's the finished look. I quite like it. It's different for me. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I see you soon. Bye.